you'll see the Chesapeake Bay today. Look at all those babies, guys. Come on, come on. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna to be fishing at my dad's spot. You'll see the Chesapeake Bay today. And this is a direct tributary right off the Chesapeake Bay. Anyways, let's get to fishing. I'm gonna be on a 1436 tracker. And it's my dad and my stepmom's uh, boat here. Huh? I would take the kayak out, but I mean, I got all this stuff and it just works better whenever I um, you know, take the boat out. We're gonna get out there and try to get some snakeheads, guys. Stay tuned. I saw a fry ball not too long ago. There's the fry ball. Oh my god, it's a big snakehead with it, too. Look at that. Let's get out there. switching between a white swim bait that you guys see me use in previous videos and a black topwater frog. Booyah. You guys see that? I'm about to cast right over top of them, and they go crazy. I don't know why I casted a chatterbait at them, though. I should have casted a frog. That's my fault. I was too excited. I see the fish. I see the snakehead. I see the mom. Watch closely. You can see the mom if you watch really closely. Wow. It's a big fish. It's about to get super crazy, guys. Watch the water. There's more than one fry ball. I'm just estimating from what I see. I think that there's about 5,000 babies for each fry ball we're about to see. This is insane. Northern snakeheads everywhere. Gonna try to catch a couple so we can see them on camera. I've never seen one in person. A baby one, that is. Watch as these fish literally swim straight up to the boat. Right now, there's two fry balls in front of me and one behind me. Unfortunately, the water is too muddy at this moment. Just stay tuned though, guys.
Check them out, guys. They already have their pattern. And just check them out. They're all coming up for air. Every couple of seconds, they come up for air. That's why you can see them so well. Because they got to stay on the surface. They have to have that air. Especially at this young age. They're about two weeks old. Keep an eye on the center of the fry ball. The mother comes and swoops them away from me, basically. Bringing them back towards the pappas grass. They are everywhere. Watch closely, guys. So that actually was a hit right there. But the mom didn't grab the frog. All she was doing was just warning the frog better stay away. Man, look at that. It's like glass. Right there. Sand. You know there's snakeheads in this pond. It's just... Oh, that was a fish. That was a snakehead. Oh my god, dude. That was totally a fish. Oh, 
fish. Still using Booya Black Popping Frog. First, I did Fast Retrieve. Then I switched it up, and right here I'm doing a very, very like two twitches pause. We're pushing that spot. Uh, I don't know, guys. Let's see if we can see that fry ball again. Maybe throw a couple of uh, lures at it. See what happens. That's it for this episode. But, so this is just part one. Next week, on the next Friday's video, this, the entire pond drains to about four or five inches of water. And there's baby snakes everywhere, guys. You get an up close visual in my hand of a baby snake and um yeah so guys stay tuned for next week but other than that please like share and subscribe click click that notification bell that way you don't miss next week's video i got a lot of stuff that i'm going to be showing you guys in next week's video thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on friday stay tuned